Okay, so here's a question which looks at the, the economics of advertising using pretty standard economic theory that you will have come across in your A-level microeconomics. Hopefully we can get the right answer to this question. So an advertising agency estimates that a campaign would shift the demand curve for a profit maximizing firm's product from D1 to D2 in the diagram, okay? The question for you to have a go at is what does the shaded area represent on our diagram? What does the shaded area represent or measure? Here's a moment to press that pause button on the video. When you're ready, I'll be back with the right answer. So what do we think? What does the shaded area measure? Well, the correct answer to this question is A, the additional sales revenue the campaign will be expected to generate. The crucial thing here is that the advertising campaign appears to have been successful. It shifted the demand curve from D1 to D2. Of course, that also means that the marginal revenue curve will have shifted as well from MR1 to MR2. I've shown this in little blue dots there. That allows the firm's profit maximising output to expand, intersection of marginal cost and marginal revenue. So they're selling more output and crucially, they can now um, sell more at a higher price. Okay, much higher price. So the total revenue for the firm will have increased because total revenue is price per unit multiplied by output. Okay, hopefully you got the right answer to that question. And uh, check out some more revision questions on the website.